This is the goat episode. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, sir. My lips are chapped. Nice hoodie. PNCLads.com. Go buy one. We're probably going to put them on. Actually, fuck it. I'll commit. No, I won't commit. They'll be on sale. Stay on tune. They're going to go on sale this week. There's only uh, limited stock remaining, so you know. But we'll welcome back to the show before doing a shameless plug. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> it is a beautiful episode today, episode 69. The greatest episode of all time. It feels like we actually haven't done this for quite some time because it's a Sunday today. It's a Sunday. It's a nice day though. It's a fucking beautiful day. I've been inside for a week. You've been dying. Bro, the I, roles are finally switched. You I, were, you were healthy for quite some time. I can't believe the last five weeks you, you had COVID. Yeah. For like a week and a half-ish. Yeah. Got you better. were you were healthy for like three days, and then you got the flu. Yeah, and you were sick for another week. Yeah, and then you got healthy, and then we had one week. We had that weekend out with like last yeah. weekend. Yeah, um, well, the week before. And then I was all good there. Yeah, all right. It, our battery just said it's fucking exhausted, mate. Not a good sign. <laughs> Sounds like me. Jesus Christ. Um, but like you were saying. Yeah, I think I was up to like so then. That week after that weekend, yeah, I could feel myself so like not getting slowly deteriorating. Like hay fever started, so it was like yeah. seasonal change, which yeah. is normally when I get sick anyway. Yeah, and then like I could, I was feeling worn down, and that that weekend, like just not the weekend, just gone the weekend before. Mm. Fuck me, out here. mate! Like played at magnet. For like five hours of sleep, woke up, wine tour all day, mm-hmm. and then yeah, we'll go through that weekend. Playing at so. Peach Pit, and then fucking like I ended up like Peach Pit got caught quick. Went to fucking Bar One to like you went to Bar One, yeah, because Dolts came out. We'll go through that, anyway, and then yeah. um, I got home like three a.m. Oh no, and like that, I was like, oh, I'm I'm, like, I'm gonna get sick hundred percent. I'm yeah. running on four hours. Of sl- I basically had like ten hours sleep for the entire weekend. I was like. I'm in strife, yep. And then, long and behold, Monday, I felt... Awful. Like, not too... Like, I, I had, like, re- like almost, like, a really bad hay fever f- symptoms. I was like... I didn't have a cough yet, but, like, my, thro- like my throat, throat was itchy. My yeah. eyes were, like, fucking itchy. My yeah. face, like, my nose was nasally, like, how I sound now. And I thought... I still went to the gym. I cracked out yeah. and pre. Actually had a really good fucking back and chest sesh. Beautiful. And then Tuesday, I woke up and I was fucked. <sighs> That's not ideal. Did uh, you think you had passed it or no? Nah, nah I, I just, I don't know. I thought I was just hay fever. Like, cause I, well, you know, it was like a week of feeling a bit, eh, I was like, eh, I probably just hay fever. Push and then through. I got sick. Yeah. It's not ideal. I actually had a hay fever attack the other day, bro, where like everything just hit me at once. I in, got the nasal spray, two tail fires, you're only uh, supposed to have one. And then the eye drops as well, bro. I fully tried to cleanse myself because I I thought I was dying, mate. Honestly, if I have it's really a really bad hay attack. fever attack, I just go for a shower. Like yeah, get all get all shower. the like pollen and like dust the off dust off your off face. And then take your fucking hay fever stuff because like it actually works. Like it's like taking um like pre workout at the end of a workout kind of thing. Like you've already you're already fucking you're already tired at that point. It's hard to get yourself Shows, up. Shower's a great way to refresh. But no, you know some... I envy, envy those sick fucks out there that don't, don't suffer from hay fever. No, I know, man. I said the other day, I was like, I just had a massive hay fever attack and Brandon goes, what's that? <laughs> I said, what? I said, so you some, don't know what hay fever is. He's like, oh, is that shit. when you get like tired or something? I'm like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> Must be nice, eh? That's fucked. Must be fucking nice. But and no. It made it worse too because that, that week I was sick, my power went out for fucking... You've had some issues with your power, mate. Tuesday, Living like the Amish out here, mate. Tuesday or Wednesday. And this was like, it was storms as well. Okay. Like it was when it was like raining and shit. Yeah. And so like the fucking cunts were probably just taking their time. Because basically the power pole, one of the power lines sparked. And so they had to turn it's the power off just to our house. Okay. And like, what do you do when you're sick? You watch yeah. Netflix. Yeah, you fucking dead. play PlayStation. Like, you, you know. Yeah. You you do yeah I can't my our shower's electric like hot water, so I couldn't have a shower for like fucking thirty hours. I mate, I you've been in the fucking seriously. I thought I couldn't go to the gym. I'm like, what am I gonna do? Like yeah, six is it six days without the gym now? 
yeah, Monday was my last day training. So it'd be a week. How do you feel? I'd be all right. Like, I kind of was Did probably. You miss it? Yeah, I miss it. But I was probably do a deload week anyway. So. Yeah. No, it's, um, it's a horrible feeling when you know you have to put your health first and you have to literally just do nothing to try well, and I, get better. I probably would have trained like yesterday and today mm. if. Well, I thought you were going to be like, I thought you were going to get up for today's sesh, but you didn't. If, if it wasn't for listening out. Yeah. I would probably, but then I just want to get better. Like I just, I just want to be healthy before I fucking yep. half ass like go back into life and then just stay like how I am now. Yeah. No, it's you've you've done the right thing, mate, and hopefully you'll reap the the health rewards <laughs> in in the coming days, mate. By the way, it's a big week. This is the last episode before listening. Out. Yeah, it's true. The next, should we like do the next episode on like? Nah, actually, fuck that. We'll be way too hurt. Wait, when do you want to do the next episode? I was going to say like... Fuck up. I was going to say like we'll or film Sunday. on like Tuesday. Or like Monday, sorry. Well, it's a public holiday, isn't it? We'll be so hurt though. Yeah. Oh, because it's on the Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking hell, man. The weather's not looking good, but raining. Yeah, what's it, what's it at now? Well, I sent it to the boys earlier. Fucking raining now. It's updated, so... Yeah, it's it's disgusting, bro. I, um, Someone said to me, she was like, oh yeah, it's 17 degrees and cloudy. Like, I'm fucking depressed. I'm like, oh no, don't tell me that. Yeah, no, it's and is it getting degrees. worse, bro? 17 degrees and raining. And you know what the worst part is? So like, look at today. Beautiful. This like, is, this would be a perfect mm-hmm. day. Yeah, elite, 20 degrees, a little bit of breeze. Because I said to Zach, I was like, oh, you want to go suss an outfit for this now? And I said to you, I was like, oh, we're going to go do that if you can. You're like, yep. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not about to buy a summer outfit if I can't even wear the motherfucker. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna. Wear, I'm. I'm probably still wear shorts, regardless. I think I'm gonna go the shorts, the trusty puffer that people like to criticize me on. Oh, that's risky at a festival. Nah, because like it's good, because it, it. I like the look of it, and it provides you that little bit of warmth. And oh, like right. you said, we're not gonna be feeling too much. I don't doubt that. It's more the fact that it's like four hundred dollar jacket and. Oh, it's black, bro. What's gonna happen to it? Well, bro, you're in a mosh pit, like fucking elbow. Pits, can't, don't bro, touch my jacket. Someone grabs like if someone just grabs you like by the fucking thing and like rips it a little bit, like. That's right. Ooh. It's all right. Um, and then, yeah, maybe your tea. That's, I need to go get my um, annual cheap pair of sunglasses as well. So do I, man. Fuck. Probably do that. Maybe even Saturday morning. Depends. So, uh, is it raining on Sunday? Yeah, it could, change, it it could change again. I'm trying, I'm trying to get the weather zone app up, the actual proper... What does it say on Apple iPhone? It's raining, but okay, ah, I've, got it up. I've got it up now. <laughs> Fucking suck right. a dick, man. Uh let us know if you want to listen out, by the way. Drop it in the comments. Oh, Thanks for know. everyone that... We're going to say it now. The emoji. The emoji this week is an ear for listen out. Oi, I like that. Drop the ear for listen out in the comments so we know that. Um, are you been watching? All right. We have Sunday. Yep. What does it say? Mm. No, it's not good by the looks of your <laughs> it's face. It's gotten worse, kind of. Fuck. Uh, 18 now, so one temp higher, but 70% chance of rain. Oh, God. The good thing is, though, it's still a minimum of eight. And wind is not, not not a lot of wind. So Good. I don't like wind. Wind and rain's fucked. But we'll have to cop some ponchos, Ev. Yeah. Get the black ponchos out. Yeah. That's such a stitch up, bro. It Listen is out, a it's always up. like 25 degrees, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Maybe season, it'll be opposite this year. Seasons will be good for us. Seasons will be good. Yeah. I, I mean, I there's still decent faith because that's, that's in the night. And then on the Monday is sunny and clear. So mm. like... You know, in the evening, it'll probably be. You don't know what time of day up. it's going to strike, do you? Well, I reckon it'll rain early because ra- it's raining Saturday, so like it'll continue Sunday, and then by like lunchtime, yeah. it'll be starting to clear up, and start to look like this by the night. Yeah. Um. Fun. Anyway, let's let's recap the weekend because it was a big one. Fuck! It feels so odd doing the weekend at the end of this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, we didn't do anything this weekend. I was thinking we should potentially like going into summer, we should start filming the pods like Sunday evenings. Mm, okay like a like a 5 p.m so like if we're hung over you'll be better and by we'll like five stories, yeah. and then you can we can recap that weekend that was always our goal at the start to you know get to a place where we can do this as a job and then you know you're sitting on your couch like logan and mike used to do and they would just recap their party stories well me. i'm not really working on mondays anymore yeah like i just fucked them off yeah that's like, the one day when all us boys are together as well it's sad i know i need tommy to get me some fucking some uh Jocks, mate. You do. And also, he said um, he wants to buy... You know that fucking insane pre-workout from America he buys? I can't I can't remember. The pump or? Uh, it's both, bro. You can get both. I can't remember the name of it. I don't know. But yeah. we're going to combine so we can save on shipping. Um, so if you want to get amongst that, 
I might as well, yeah. Let us know because it. it's insane. Anyway, um, yeah, it's the one day. It's the one day we're all together, and unfortunately, we I haven't mean, been able to send a sesh after work as well because our days just don't align. I mean, I could still work Mondays. It's just like you just don't. I mean, I've been fucking DJing like the yeah. last three weeks. I'm just like, there's been no a busy point. sick boy. Like this week, I, it actually worked out really well that I got sick on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Because by Friday, I was still a bit sick, but like I had a gig. And so I did, just did that, but like for 800, well, oh fuck, oh fuck it, 800 bucks. It's yeah. like, fuck it. I like, you know, that's basically more, that's twice as what I would earn during the week anyway. Yeah. And I got to be bedridden all, all week. Problem is now I'm, I'm, I got a uni assignment that I should have fucking done when I was sick, but I was just playing games. Yeah. Been addicted to You don't want to do that when you're sick though. Video yeah. games. Anyway, Friday, we do the potty and then what do we, do Friday? we go, we go our separate ways and you're DJing at Magnet. Oh Yeah. And um, oh no, I had a house party before that too. You had a house party. I was DJ. Uh, you were main stage at Magnet. Yes. And you said to me, you said, "Mate, you want to come?" I said, "Of course, got to support the boy." But there's no chance I'm staying there till two o'clock in the morning nah, because we had an early start the next day with the wine tour. <laughs> yeah, we did. So I hit up Zach and Maury, both keen. Bit of a kerfuffle trying to you know sort some know, stuff out. Do you know what I've noticed? What's that? If someone's driving, people are keen. Oh yeah, because you know that you can. You can hit the road. Well, there's anytime. no Uber costs. There's no Uber costs. I was talking to a girl last night. Paid 190 dollars for an Uber back from Melbourne to her house. Would never 40 be minute doing Uber, that. bro. Would never be doing that. Unless I'm rich. Uh, no, it was a taxi. Yeah, you, yeah I've been absolutely stinged, mate. Mate, 190 bucks for a 40 minute Uber, like, taxi ride. I thought, fucking hell, they've charged you twice. What a fucking anyway. fair play to the taxi driver. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so we finally suss it. Your gig gets delayed, mate, by an hour. Well, there was Fucking there was an indie band playing before us oh. that no one knew about. Dogs. Um, my gig got delayed an hour, I think. No, half an hour. An hour? You were going to start at 11. Oh, you I was at meant 12. to play an hour and a half. I ended up getting cut to an hour. Yeah, but you started at 12. Yeah. So at that stage, I'm like, fucking hell. It was late, bro. Because I was tired. I was tired. I, we'd done our whole day. I'd had dinner, I'd watched the footy and I'm like, this is usually the time I wind down now. Yeah, exactly. But I had to, you know, kind of stay up and about and then launch out. Um, I mean, hey, I appreciate the boys pulling through. So we get there and um, you had all your fam there, mate. You had all your fam there. Yeah, fucking mum, aunties. Quincy got a bottle of Grey Goose and Two the, bottles. The, glowing, um, the glowing bird came through. Yeah, we had VIP at, at Magnet. The woman who delivered that so hot. bottle... She changed dresses like a couple times. She was wearing this orange thing, mate, and she was moving like I've never seen anyone move before. <laughs> oh my goodness. I fell in love. I said to Maury, I said, fuck me, mate. That is just... And Maury said, I have a girlfriend, so stop talking to me. Like, fair, he, he, he just said, you, you admire son, I'm going to watch Ev. I said, I'll do both, mate. <laughs> Great multitasker. But yeah. Um, Dude's cross-eyed. No, what's the... Like, looking both. <laughs> when I, your, um, your family was loving it, mate. Your uncle... He with, loves it, With mate. grey hair. He was first one down there. Oh, that's a disrespect. I didn't, I didn't know his name. That's <laughs> with grey hair. That's, he pulls it off well. It's the only way to distinguish him. Um, he was loving it. He was bouncing up and down, front and centre. No, he loves it, And your auntie got down there. And then, um, and then your mum was down there. And then your dad. And then we got down there. And you did great, mate. You did great. Bro, the, considering that the decks was fucked as the, well. Yeah, the decks were broken for half of it. Um, Is that, it What's her name? DJ Dis. Her Dis- name's Destic on, Destic. on Instagram. She, she came up to me. I said hello. She was like, I was like, oh, you did well. She was like, I'm not fucking happy. Like, the Dex was fucked, blah, blah, yeah. blah. It's twice now made it magnet. The Dex's been cooked. I know, yeah. And um, yeah, well, I fucking... So, like, I get up there and, like, it was kind of like... How'd you feel? Well, <laughs> I get there. There's the three that were playing before me, like, back to back to back to back. And I was like, oh... I was like, oh, you guys crushed it. And then that Destic girl was like, oh, um, the decks are fucked. <laughs> Perfect. Don't tell me that. So yeah. I go get them fixed. Like, I get the... No, sorry. I was just like, I just won't use one of them because it's three. But then two of them ended up not working. And like, I need at least two. So Deary, mate. I had to go get a guy. He fixed one of them. So I had two fixed. Two, yeah. I was able to use two. So the first half of the set, like, I couldn't really match the beats up. Oh, and the fucking booth speaker. So, like, what the DJ hears, like, there's a speaker behind the DJs because obviously you can't hear properly. It's a delay because mm-hmm. the speakers are in front of you. So, what you guys are hearing, I'm hearing that like two seconds later because it bounces off the wall, comes back. Yeah. So, you have a booth speaker. That wasn't working either. Oh, so, I, I couldn't even really, I couldn't really match the songs because, like, 
the fucking decks aren't lining up. I can't hear the fucking songs. Like my headphones, oh, it was a, yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare. But no one really noticed, which is normally the way with DJing anyway. Yeah. Um, and then they, I got it fixed. So I had two decks, which the second half of the set was good. And then Quincy got on and another one of the decks had, was fucked. Yeah, he's, then, he's really fucked up he, at one point. He, he went, he fucking like transitioned into um, sweet. And yeah. Like, like, and I could tell that one. <laughs> well, the fucking, the. It just stopped. Like the, it, the, it wouldn't play like the next track. So he tried to like, the next track was playing for him, but like in his headphones, but like yeah. it wouldn't play out loud. And then he's like, what the fuck he's like he's like to me he's like go get someone to fucking fix his deck like yeah you know, i was like oh yeah i'll be back so i ran up got the light guy fixed it but nightmare but it was yeah. fun yeah and um and what's it called some guy came up to me shout out to this guy he was like want to take you on that four driving blah 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 he was like Met commit guy. commit now tomorrow it's monday i was like, i'm not gonna commit but like like nice to meet you. That's why we don't commit. To yeah, this. yeah. Um, but no, it was a great night. I was fucked the next day though, mate. I was exhausted when I woke up. Yeah, I um. We both went together to the wine tour. I set my alarm for like ten thirty. Yeah. And we had to leave at like. I had to get eleven there. and eleven fifteen thereabouts, leaving between them times. Yeah, we basically got got there, Fun. said hello. Yeah. Hopped on the bus, which is a bit of a shame because like. I like to have a. I mean, for me, it was fine game. because I couldn't really drink anyway. Cause, well, like get drunk because I had to play later at Peach Pit. Yeah. So like I was fine with that, but like normally it's like the prize is the best part, playing bong and. I don't know if they were really doing that though. I don't know how. It, I think a lot of people got there quite early. No, like like pretty late, oh, late like yeah. around like ten thirty, eleven. Well, it's such an early start, and it's a big ass to get people there at that time. Yeah, and then the wine tour, I'm not a fan of wine tours. You know what? <laughs> nah. Well, we get to the first one and I have an issue here, mate. Buddy comes up on the bus, grabs the microphone and says, welcome guys, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, if you want beer, you're going to have to get it with food. Yep, yeah, absolutely fucking And joke. instant kickoff. Instant <laughs> Andrew, kickoff. Andrew, shout out fucking Corrigan. Oh yeah. my God. He goes, why? Why the fuck is that a rule? Like, yeah. What and the they, couldn't, they couldn't give us an explanation. I can only assume it's because they want you to try their no, wine. No, they did say it. It was like, we. he was like, we brew the wine. We buy the beer. I'm like, so? Yeah. Every fucking place on the planet buys their beer, cunt. Yeah. Like, go to any club, pub. They all buy beer. I, I could not understand it, mate. And I wasn't happy because we bought these slushies instead. Oh, shit. It was frozen um, wine. And it was, it was, they tasted gross. It was just the same It wine. was in the little like fancy like martini glass. Yeah, cocktail um, glasses, yeah. And yeah, I think we bought a round and it was like $45 for like four. Yeah, that was awful. It was frozen wine. Ugh. And then, you know, um, pro- like props to Carly. She bought um, wine for everyone. But unfortunately, I just don't like it. Well, we it. actually bought that technically. Oh yeah, with the, with the money, yeah. White wine, I can kind of get down. Red wine... Oh fucking! That wasn't really red wine. It was kind of like rosé. Disgusting. It, all of it was. I I I actually like wine tours in terms of the vibe. Like, go, but I personally, I'd rather do a pub crawl. Like, but like, sim, like, still go to places. But like, go on a bus. Like, go to Frio and then go to fucking the city and then like go to Scarborough. Like a pub crawl kind of that way. Yeah. Because the good thing with wine tours though is that they're outside. You yeah. Get to like you experience nature. It's just a different vibe as opposed to being inside a pub and then you feel like you kind of just like... It definitely is though, except like, the only thing I don't like is like when you get to the wine tour, there's nothing really to do. No, there's not. You just stand around and talk. Yeah, which is which is all well and good, but um, like I want to hear some fucking music playing. Like, yeah. I want to yeah, be able like to dance or like... The, I think it was the third one we went to was fucking tragic. Well, that was a cafe, bro. It wasn't even wine well, I've, I've been to that one before and it... Fucking sucks every time. But it's, and then it was a, it was a fair hike back to Vic Park. Yeah. The Vic Park. Oh my god, the palmy I had not great. Not great. No. Nah, paid like thirty dollars that. The chips were good. The Kylie chips were good. bought everyone chips. I was like, fuck, don't do that. Like you're spending so much money. Um, but no, they they were fantastic. And that's when we sat down to watch the Frio game, mate. And that was that was tough for that was tough for us boys. It was very yeah, tough. Yeah, you were not happy. Boys. And Dalt was chirping hard. I, I, I said to, I said to um, 
Jamai said that cunt's about to get choke slammed into the game. Oh, right. Because uh, like there was that type of garden over there. I was like, he that's choke slammable. Me and Sakamano were like, <laughs> oh shit, like because there, there, there was a there was a point where it was like it wasn't really shit to, like in terms of like banter. It got to a point where it was like, wait, this is getting personal. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. fuck you and your mum. Like, yeah. but I'm a fuck your sister. Like, things like we're getting like, man, me and, I'm just sitting there like an innocent boy. I'm like, oh my God. He touched my back. I said, don't touch me. <laughs> I said, don't touch me. I said, I'm literally about to fucking punch you, cunt. <laughs> right. I, and like, Freo's already losing. I'm like, oh my God. Because like these days, you don't really talk shit to people. Nah. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't really talk shit to Eagles fans about them when, they're, when they suck. And yeah. that's why I couldn't really understand it as well. I was like, you finished 17th and you had yeah. an embarrassment oh. of a season and I've said nothing to you type of thing. Yeah, um, I was just sitting, I'm sitting there like, oh. Bro, and it got later that night and Andrew and I were sitting, it was the fourth quarter and a certain girl. Um, oh, oh my fuck, I'll punch that bitch. This bitch. girl. Oh, no, I won't, I'm joking. I'm this not. girl, I was sat down next to Andrew and this girl was standing in front of me. In front of the screen, she's like, oh, sorry, did you want to watch this? <laughs> and she was like, must suck that your team f- is fucking so trash, blah, blah. Like, it, w- it wasn't even funny. Yeah. But no. she was trying to be funny. Yeah. And Kylie was like, if you're a guy, you probably would have been smacked by now. Yeah. She was like, yeah, but I'm not. And she was doing it over and over. And I'm like, this is so obnoxious, bro. Yeah. Like, so obnoxious. It got to the point where... um. I sat by myself, bro. Yeah, I looked over. I thought, oh my God. And then, then he just vanished. I thought, oh, he's gone. Oh, home. Yeah, no, I, I, went in, I went upstairs, got a drink and just um, stood in like the inside part watching it on the TV. I was like, I got to get away from a bit, bro. I got <laughs> yeah. to calm down and just watch the game for what it is. And unfortunately at that time, I'd sobered up and gotten quite tired. Oh, yeah. I'd I mean, gotten quite I tired was, at that stage. I was, was fucking exhausted, bro. And I had to go get my car from the cast, like... Who car from the cast? Is that yeah. where you parked it? No, nah, my dad um, put it there. Well, he drove like to the cast in my car, and then I just took it to the scarves. Fuck, bro. I was fucked though, bro. I was like, uh, so I'd, tell tell us how that night went. Well, after that, I just I drove. I went to get my car, drove to Scarborough. I was there like an hour before. Yeah, I was meant to be playing. And you said it was quite dead. I was mate, it was the deadest thing I've ever been no in my there. life. There was, I think everyone just was went home after the free game. That's tragic. Because like. And it's like, funny because the week before everyone was out and about because Freo got up. Well, and Liquid Candy was on, so like everyone was at that. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to go ahead. Um, neither did I. I actually DM Tiger Lily. I said, I think this event's a scam. And she like replied back after the event. Did she? she? And she was like, that was kind of petty. Oh, no. <laughs> she said, like, should have copped a ticket, you fucking idiot. No, 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 no. Like, it, I. I or recovered well. To be fair, my message kind of came around, uh, like across as a bit like, of a dick. What was she sharing it or something? Yeah, it was like on her story, and I replied saying like, "Fairly sure this event is a scam." But the emoji I used was like the, like that weird like. Oh yeah, okay. I, like the lip buckle, like yeah, Ooh, that's fucking sus. And then she was like, replied on the Sunday after it, it was real. Okay. And then I was just like, oh, it definitely was. I said you. I actually, if I went, I was like, yeah, you were good, like. Um, yeah, uh, and then she said, "Oh, thanks." And I was just like, "Sorry if the original message came across as rude. Have a blessed one." Yeah, I'm um, engagement must be low, mate. If she's fucking <laughs> nah, <laughs> you know, what do you replying mean? to fucking hate messages, bro. Well, I don't think it was a hate. Like, I just said a fair. Like, I was just more like, I'm pretty. Like, I was genuinely being. Yeah. In my in my eyes, I was like, I was actually being nice. I was like, oh, like, look, you're probably promoting a scam. Like, yeah. Well, I think everyone had every intention to think that. Mate, that event... It's been trying to happen for what? Three years? I had like seven... I actually... <laughs> I'm kind of pissed off now. They messaged me so many times like for $500 like VIP tickets because I bought the original tickets back in like 2019. <laughs> and like... Fucking they've been God. messaging me saying like, please get in contact with us, blah, blah, blah. We want to give you like $500 VIP tickets. Mm. Who the fuck don't think that's a scam? Like, why, why are you doing this, you know? Yeah. Um, so, I ended up just blocking them and... Delete. You blocked them? Yeah, fuck that booty. I'm like, yeah. mate, this scam's annoying me now. Yeah. Um, but no, it was real, so... Kind of jealous. I wish I went, to be honest. It fucking yeah. was a good good lineup. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention something. On the Friday night, I was getting ready. And um, I was keeping like, solid contact with Jared and Zach because we were going together. I was in the shower. My phone was in the living room. And I was playing my music as I do on my JBL speaker in my bathroom. And um, my music just stops. I go, okay. And then, you know, 
see, so I, I assume, I can hear the uh, ringtone going through my speakers. Oh, okay. Must be Zach or Jared. So I quickly run out to the bathroom, get my phone. I see no caller ID. <laughs> I go, this is, bit, this is a bit strange. Oh, wait. Someone told me about this, but yeah. I said, this is a bit strange. Answer the phone. Go, hello. And this is what I hear. Oh. 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 And I go, hello. Clip it. I go, hello. And they just keep moaning, bro. They keep moaning. And it's a girl. And I'm like, who's this? And they give me another moan and they go, who do you think? And then keep moaning. My heart sinks, bro. I, it, it's racing. I'm like, what the fuck, can't? I end my call. It, this is nighttime, bro. I'm like, is someone watching me right now? Yeah. I was petrified. I said, I ran. I said to my dad, I said, I just got a phone call, dad, of a girl supposedly strumming herself off, <laughs> saying, who do you think this is? And it got me thinking, was this a targeted attack? No. Was it a random, you know, I think it's just random. chucking a phone call? Does this person have my number? Are, is this person in my contacts list? How has this happened? I was, I said, I said to the boys, I said, I've been fucking sexually assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> I said, this is fucking disgusting, mate. Targeted, bro. Fucking, I, I was petrified, mate. But that was my, um, yeah, that was my um, sex phone call that I had. And I don't want another one of those. I like that though. So don't go doing that to people. It's kind of hot. No, I was, I was scared. Oh, I started having a quick wank or something. I was like, can you, hold on. Do it a bit louder, please. <laughs> I was in a rush, yeah, but I couldn't couldn't do that. Fuck, you know, mate, you're already half naked. You could have just it was there. Dubbed the load on it the fucking there. in the sink or something. Let's um let's do the Spotify playlist. Spotify playlist. Because you know it is the best playlist on the platform. It Spotify, is. Spotify, send your invoice. I know they're big fans of it. I'm gonna send in. Ooh. I'm gonna put in sorry a song that I sent you. Knowing that you probably already already would have heard it, I said this makes me cream my knickers every time I hear it. A bit of Tiesto. How do you say this song, Ev? It looks French. Okay. La moi tojels. <laughs> probably not bad. Probably butchered it to be fair. So that's that's gonna go in there, because that's a great tune. Have you got one, son? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got we're gonna go with um, Interstellar by Nav. Great, great, great movie. Interstellar? With Lu- Uzi Vert. Okay. I and too. I'm going to go... Red Card. Friska, Skepta, JME. So many people in there. It's a good song. It's a great song, actually. <laughs> you the got next, a second one, son? Yeah, Vibe by Mike Candies. So by who? My mic it should pop up if you type in vibe. Oh yeah, I see it. What a what a name! I wonder if that's actually his last name. <laughs> no, no chance. Or if he just likes a you know the guy that you really like um his his TikToks and he wears the bucket hat. Oh <laughs> yeah, he, I love that cunt. Yeah, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people in his comments saying, "Oh, oh you probably need to grow up, bro. Like this isn't like really funny." And I'm just like. Who do you think you are, Cohen? No, I my God. Given Major Jaden Smith Smith vibes, Man, like I'm so off, sick bro. and tired of like people. Firstly, trying to tell people how to live their lives, and secondly, like it's like in our comments. Oh, like, I'm I'm sick of it. Oh, like what makes all these straight white guys think that they need to have a mic? Mm. Cunt, g- you go get one. Yeah. See if you can go get fucking a few hundred thousand followers. Yeah. Fuck with like. Yeah, it was funny. I was speaking to a girl and they always go oh I recently just you know you'll you'll be talking for a while and they go I recently just your TikTok popped up and they go oh yeah me and my friend were actually thinking of doing one and uh, it's the it's the same funny message every time yes everyone could do it but why doesn't everyone you would yeah why doesn't everyone yeah because I can guarantee you give up after five episodes yeah when you get fucking 20 views can't like yeah I'd quit too yeah so like it, you're not you're not you're not built like us. It's um it's funny when people say that. Oh yeah, I'm thinking of doing this, doing that. It's not that straightforward, is it? Mate, they act like it's a fucking piece of piss where like you can just sit down, and start talking, and you're gonna have like a thousand people listen to you. No. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. It's like why would people listen to you? Like no, we, th- it's not how it works. We've invested a lot of money into this. Money, time, a lot of time, a lot of time. And what was what was the other one? I was gonna say something. Oh, she was like, 
Or do you, do you wing it or do you just play it? I was like, no, we definitely don't wing it. Like yeah. there's this preparation that goes in that's uh is definitely involved. If you were if you were to wing it every week, you'd um you leave yourself like very vulnerable to for like for something to go wrong. A thousand percent. Um but no, after this episode we're actually uh having our good friend Jay Moore come over and we're filming another video which will get released next week. I'm gonna hop straight on the edit. You reckon? Like, yeah. Yeah, I is it how long is it gonna go? Is it like a YouTube or is like it just a, like a TikTok? Both, both. I reckon it'd be like a one to two minute thing. Okay. Um, we also have a filmer coming with us to listen out, so yeah. get keen. Well, fucking the rain's gonna ruin that, but yeah. I was thinking that. I was fucking thinking that. If it rains, cunt, gonna have to use these, bro. Plastic bag, man. It's fucking. It's a scary proposition that we face. I don't. I mean, we can still take the camera, just leaving the camera bag. But like, I don't think it will rain. To be honest, at the actual festival, I don't think it'll rain. Positive thoughts. Positive thinking. I think put it, it will, out there. We're gonna fucking. Get I think it. it'll rain all day, so the floor will be fucked again. But it'll be slippery. That's all right. Uh, oh no! I just cleaned these bad boys. Got a fucking clean baby wipe on. Um. Anyway, I got a, got a topic. It was actually right after I, you know, was slightly healing from my sickness. I went into the gym. And uh, big CC, Cole Chapman stopped me. He said, Dill, just come over here at the front desk. And one of the girls were there who works there at the front desk. And Cole said, mate, what are your thoughts on like blokes using girls type of equipment at huh? the gym? Like girl equipment at the gym? What's girl equipment? Well, let me, let me continue because he was saying, I think it's fucking like, there's nothing wrong with it, but... Her, sorry, she thinks like she sees it as an ick. So, for example, guys using the adductor machine where you your legs start out wide and you bring them in or the, um, what's I, the, the Stairmaster? And I said, I said, I use the adductor machine all the time. It is a great machine for loosening up your groins. Um, and also building your adductors yeah. and abductors. Um, it's fantastic for you know, preparing for squats. Um, it's a great machine. I think a lot more people should be using it and we've introduced some of our friends to it and they said best thing that they've hopped on. Um, so, just to put it out there, well, if a girl sees a guy using that type of machine and sees it as a nick, I think you need to grow up. No, I have a theory on this again. It goes back to the X thing. Bro, X are a, a, a farce. If, yeah. if fucking... Why is that turning? If Justin Bieber or Zac Efron was using it, you'd be like, oh my God, he's so confident. He's yep. so powerful. Oh my God, I love him. He's the best. If if a fucking fugly cunt's doing it, you'll be like, oh my God, he's so loser. It Based on looks, icks are based off of whether you're attracted to the person or not. It's, it's a big if, statement. For, for like things it. like that. It, obviously, like if someone's picking their nose and eating it, like then like I can understand how you get the ick regardless of yeah. that. Yeah. But for things like, like using gym equipment, it's all based off of fucking attraction, based off of the eye. I wish I had that recorded. Joey Swell would have had a fucking field day, mate. Mate, it's also like, um, if if she's thinking that, okay, don't use any other piece of equipment in the gym. Well, that's what. Don't I, use a barbell. Don't use a dumbbell. That's why I said, can are you gonna are you gonna bench press? Because that's a guy's fucking. Don't do a shoulder press. Yeah. Don't do a squat. Yeah. Am I not allowed to do squats? Well, guys are better at squats than girls, so. Yeah, but you know, weight wise, that, so that's yeah. a guy exercise. Unlucky. And I'm being, I'm being facetious. Yeah. I don't actually believe this. Um, and I, I, I laughed. I said, I use it all the time. Like, I think it's a great machine, and I'm, I'm not going to stop using it. That bugs me. I want, I want to meet her. I want to. No. And she, she was just like, oh, oh, like just gave it like a little like nervous giggle because I assume she expected me to be like, oh yeah, maybe a bit sus of using that. Exactly, and you know what? Attractive Donny, she goes, oh, m- maybe I don't think that anymore. <laughs> she actually said, you're a fucking loser, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll continue using it. It's a gr- If you haven't used it, the adductor and then it's the abductor. Yeah. I just call it the groin machine. You got bing, bing. Yeah, the groin opener. Like, bro, if the, the opening one, bro. Oh, yeah, really gets outside you, Outside of your it? cheeks. <laughs> really gets you. I actually, I've actually had a great week at the gym, to be honest. Great week. Can't, I can't say the same. Yesterday, I had a fantastic day. Today, I had a fantastic day. The day before, stinker of a day. And there's a correlation here, Ev. Work? No, I trained with someone. I trained with someone. And this person loves to chew my ear off. Yeah, they're also... They're extremely lazy. <laughs> they don't see themselves in that light, though. 
And I, every time I do it, train with that person, I do, you know, it's fuck all, mate. We've joined in a couple of times and I'm like, I end up kind of like doing my own thing in yeah. and amongst it because I'm like, like, I got things to do, people I, to see. I, I, I told him, I said, look, mate, you can just stand and watch if you want. I'm going to crack on because <laughs> like, I actually want to fucking, I actually want to, Intensity, know, training till failure, exactly going right, hard, mate. like don't getting a bit of a sweat on. I don't want to have a five hour conversation in between sets. Sometimes, like if you take pre-workout and you crack the fuck out on pre and you have someone who's like talking, fuck me, it ruins you because you got all this energy and then, you end up becoming like deflated and tired because yeah. of like you haven't been able to exert that energy into output. Yeah. Well, um, I, had, I had shoulders and arms today and I took two scoops of the non-stim and one of the stim. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. Um, no one you had a, you know, I had a time. great day. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fucking phenomenal day. I'm keen though. This, bro, this weekend coming up. Barber, Friday, boom. Got a haircut, do you? Yeah. Got a haircut plan? Getting sharped up, just on a fade. Probably yep. leave the top. Top's actually starting to look all right. Yeah. Um, and then we got grand final day. I was grand, actually thinking, grand um, final day Saturday. Might right. be able to have people at mine if we um if we want to do something a little bit small. I said to Maria, I was like, "What are you doing?" She said, oh, "I don't know if we have anything planned." I said, "Plan something." So yeah. I think we want to keep it a little bit low key, but you can still have some beverages with the boys. And I'll still get that. All right. Well, our camera's exhausted again. I think we need a new We could camera. be looking at a replacement very soon. If anyone works at a camera store, you can get like some staff discount. Oi, that's massive, actually. Yeah, let us know. If you can fucking do that for the boys, let us know. Yeah, I'll um, literally, I'll give you a fucking blowy. Or a... What do you, what, what's, the, what's the equivalent word for blowy for women? Head? No, no, no. Because that's the same for guys. I think uh, they want head, though. Like you know? No, no. That's that's 100% a term. Yeah. But, like, you say, girls will say it to... Oh, I gave a guy head. I gave a girl head. They're both the same word. What's, like, this slang for blow... Like, a blowy... Yeah. What's the slang for like a girl? I reckon it's head. No, because it's not slang. That's the, okay, that's the correct well, terminology. Eating muff. <laughs> <laughs> muff diving. Yeah. You know, I just don't, don't know what muffin. you Muffin. Like. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Go on, muffin. Um, I'll give her a muff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give her a muff. I like that. Um, well, quick, some bloke asked us. Uh, I don't think it's a very ground, but groundbreaking question, but he wanted to know, so we'll quickly ask you. Yeah. Um, he said, what do you do when you wait for your gym bro to rock up if you're training together? Nah, um, well, here's the thing. Depends how long we're looking. But just thing. like if you and I, a normal day, someone will usually get there before the other and it'll be like f- five minutes. Well, I normally sit in my car for like two minutes anyway when I get to the gym. If I'm there first, I'll sit in my car for like two minutes regardless because right, I'm like okay. just chilling on my phone or like yep. getting songs, I don't know, whatever. But after that, like I'll just go inside, I'll start warming up. Yeah, warm up, mate. Stretch. We both got our bands where I like I like to warm up pretty vigorously these days. Oh, yeah. The the workout, if you try, like really warm up good and like really loosen up, the workout's like twice as good. Yeah. I'll be there for like five to ten minutes just on that grass area just stretching the fuck out my back's been really sore i've been going hard on back oh, but yeah. it's like i feel like i haven't been um like the rest days aren't helping me <laughs> <laughs> probably need to like calm down a well, bit well the the cycle that we're on uh, it's pretty aggressive no we've got to switch it up so push pull legs yeah so you do push and then you pull but and then it's only oh, three day, two or three days later. So you want to do, do you want to do? Fuck! I have to work. It basically it spreads it out. So it's like, like can you want to do push pull legs, shoulders and arms? Yeah, then back and then chest, chest and back. But then your shot. Yeah, it's it's something like that, or it's even um, it might even be potentially. You know what Tom said to me though, because you were about to say that um, if you do shoulders first, then you'll be fatigued for chest the next day. He said to me, he said. Um, got looking back after the way I've been training because of my injury, he said he'd rather do shoulders first. So then there's less emphasis using your shoulders when you do chest. Yes, you'll be weaker, but you'll actually be using your chest more. I just think that you shouldn't do it either. I mean, yeah, but then it's I don't like doing legs like so early on. You know, you know what I'm saying? Well, I've I've not been enjoying legs, bro. I'm just gonna be honest. Uh, yeah, well, I'm kind I've of not been having fun because there was a point where I was having. fun. I need a belt. Yeah. It would yeah. make my leg days enjoyable. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, nah, because you get excited, bro. Like when you get something new. When Yeah, you do. It's like RDLs. I love them because I have straps. Well, I, not anymore, but I loved them because I had straps. Yeah, I don't... Now I'm I over it. 
So I need to get a belt. It's like buying new gym clothes. You get a bit stale in the gym, buy a new gym outfit, you'll feel good, you know, motivated. Got that Lululemon tea. Oh, it's great. It's really nice, man. I was going to buy another one. It was just a bit of a... 80 I bucks. I wasn't going to use that adjective. I was going to use an adjective. It was a bit of a baby blue. Ooh. And it was gross. So you looked a bit... Yeah. Um, so I'm, I d- went without... I'm hoping that they can fucking... I didn't realise Bibber Lake was... Not Bibber Lake. Applecross was so far away from where we fucking live, cunt. I, don't I thought they were directing me to the city, mate. Well, it is the base of the city. Yeah, but it's... It's, it's, it's like five minutes before the city. That's why people want to live there. Yeah, but I I, I mean, I've, I've said it for quite some time. I'd love to live there. Their houses are fucking massive, cunt. I was looking at like like houses to... um, Like if you were to like get a share house with the boys and yeah. shit. It's like $1,000 in rent a week. Fucking hell. Yeah. It's but like a really fuck off house, but it's disgusting, bro. But like I got out because it's this tiny like little it's like a little town I rocked up to, but it's really small. And the car pa- the parking was awful. That's where I went on the first date with Rachel. In that little you so you know where I'm talking about. Yeah, I think it was there, yeah. Because I had to go through anyway, I circled this thing. So it's like residential as well, bro. There's houses right next to this thing. It's nice. Um, so I I circled this thing. So I'd go through the complex, circle around houses, come back. I did that about four or five times with unsuccessfully getting a car park spot. I had to park behind the restaurants. Well, I was I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna be pretty quick. I'm gonna be in and out of Lululemon. So I'm gonna just park by a house, side street. Hopefully, don't cop a ticket while I'm gone. So I do that. I take five steps, bro. And you know what I see? Parking officer. I see a magpie on the floor, uh-huh. and there were big trees in these in these streets, bro. And it was only like seven, like I'd say hundred meters <laughs> to the store, but it was two bends, it was two turns. I'm not even lying to you, bro. I took three steps, turned back around. <laughs> oh, really? I turned back around and said, "I think there's a high chance I get swooped if I fucking walk there." So I said, "Fucking not a shot." That's outrageous. I'll take my chances with the car park spot. That's outrageous. Probably two more, two more cycles, and um, and found a spot anyway. They didn't have a lot of lot of range. There was definitely more range at the Melbourne store. And the Gold Coast one was sick too. Yeah, it was pretty depressing. Thankfully, copped what I was after. Still twenty nine dollars out of pocket or nineteen something like that, which is fucked. Yeah. Um, but happy with the purchase. Um, should we finish off with our GF predictions, or yep. should we save that for next week? Nah, because the game will be done. It's true. I'm. G- I think we're both going to agree. I'm going to go for Geelong. I'm going to say by. 24 points. Yep. I think Geelong will win by... Mm. It's a conundrum. 42. Wow. I sure, sure hope not. Because we you had know, a stinker of a GF last year. I just... Let's not make it two in a row. I just think Geelong this year too, too calm and collective. And also I think Sydney fucked himself against Collingwood. Yeah, like they went hard. Sam Reid doesn't get get up. That's a big loss for them. Was he concussed? Muscle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's fucked then. Yeah, um, they were rubbing like up here, bro. His quad. Oh yeah, um, he'd be done. I don't um, reckon he'll play. I don't know if it was simply just precaution or not. I'm not sure. You don't take a precaution in a prelim. Nah, but they were they were, they were clear, mate. Mm. They were clear of the pies. I can't believe how close that game was. I I, I, no, I was gone bananas. I, I said, no way these cunts are about to do it, bro. I had a, I had a, I had a bet. For, I, so everything was sorted. I just needed 39.5 or either team to win by 39.5 or less. So I was like in the wind. Yeah. If it was a draw, I would have cried. <laughs> I, don't know if the, I don't know if the betting agency would have paid me out. No, nah, they wouldn't have, bro. But if that was a draw, I would have fucking spat it. Because you can, you can bet on a draw. Yeah. It's not like tipping where, you, you, where your tip gets voided. Um, but it would have gone extra time. So I said I saw ha- uh, Harry Cambarakis shout out. I know he watches at the gym today, and I said, "Oh, how's Cole?" Because he's a Collingwood fan, and I said, "I honestly would have rathered um, the way that third quarter or the first three quarters went, kept going in the fourth. I would have rather have got blown out than fucking lose by a point. As a fan, I would have rather lose by a point." I suppose they've got that belief for next year. But I saw Mo- Lee Montagna saying people don't value his opinion a lot. I think I know. Overachieved. they overachieved a They're bit. They're 100% overachieved and I think it's going to be quite difficult for them to replicate that to the same extent. Well, is Pendle's done? I don't reckon he's done, bro. Fuck, I don't know. I mean, he was he really still, good. He still shows up. Yeah, he was still And there's good. less emphasis on him, bro. If Dugowie fucking 
does what he's done this final series, bro. Mate, he, and he the back cost half me, of the season. He cost me money. He cost me 150. Well, I only lost 10, but he cost me. What would you have him for? 15. <laughs> no, 20. What do you get? Like 19? <laughs> no, like. He had four touches at half time. Oh, fuck. Luke hell. Parker gave him a fucking. Yeah. Showed him how to play football, mate. That's what he did. Took him to the fucking trenches. Yeah. Um, Parker had about 20 himself I thought fucking hell to go You're shit I think there's less emphasis on Pendles And you still got him And um, still side bottom Just you know um, Helping these younger kids Just take take over Someone meant they. Someone said to us Like when we talk about footy It's like foreign language Because they follow the NRL Oh really? <laughs> yeah Fuck Did anyone send anything good in? I had a brief look over It was a lot of the same Someone said cock They want to hear about And I What do you want from us? Cock just cock and I said you just you know what do you want from us in terms of that just a ridiculous little send in listen out drop the emoji stay um stay tuned because we're gonna fucking like on our Instagram we'll post like at listen out where we're at so all the fans like I, I don't like calling people fans but like all the of our watch supporters us. and shit can come and we'll all just like link up and like go take over a mosh pit like yeah um what's it called as well we'll be filming a video so you can be in the video, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Wear your, be- wear your best outfits. Wear your best fits. Get ready. Wear your best clothes. And if you want to take show. a photo of me, make sure I don't look too... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Bye.